Hi lovelies, Lauren here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I have a little morning wriggle for us all. So we're just going to take a few moments to have a little wriggle around on the mats and hopefully that will give us enough get up and go to start our day and let us maybe tackle the many things we perhaps have on our to-do list. So when you're ready, you're going to meet me in standing. You don't necessarily need to be on a mat today. You might be right by your bed. You might be in a tiny, tiny corner. That's fine. Wherever you are is exactly Exactly where you need to be so take a few moments just to ground down through the feet and we'll get started so when you're ready meet B in standing feet underneath the hips and let's spread the toes down into the mat it's beautiful and we're gonna start with a few shoulder rolls today so when you're ready let's lift the shoulders up to the ears Exhale, squeeze them back and down. Beautiful. You might take this quite slow, first of all, just to kind of shake off the cobwebs a little bit. Beautiful. And then maybe the movement gradually starts to get a little bit bigger. So seeing how high you can take the shoulders up, and then how far you can squeeze the shoulder blades back behind you, maybe a couple more times. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Really, really well done. Beautiful. Let's just go one more time. And the next cell. Super. On your next breath in, big sweep of the arms up to the sky. So grow taller and taller, almost like the first big stretch we take every morning here. And then as we exhale, we're going to take a little cactus shape. So you're going to draw the elbows down in line with your shoulders. You might even kind of shift the weight subtly towards your big toe so you can drive the hips that little bit further forward. Squeeze the elbows back behind you. Take the heart to the sky. I should hopefully feel like this beautiful stretch across the heart space. And then as we exhale, let's just softly rain the fingertips all the way down. Beautiful. Let the shoulders come down as that happens. Beautiful. Let's take that again. Deep breath in. Sweep the arms up to the sky. Again, exhale. Nice big cactus shape. Draw the elbows down and line with the shoulders. Beautiful. Now this time as you inhale, you're going to start to lengthen the arms out wide. Exhale, bring the arms out in front. And then from here, you're going to cross your right arm on top of the left and give yourselves this nice warm hug. Beautiful. So you're going to really see how far you can wrap the arms around yourself. You might even see you can really touch your shoulder blades with your fingertips. Beautiful. And we're just going to have a little sway from side to side. It's almost like we can literally give ourselves this nice warm hug, this nice warm embrace. Beautiful. It might even be kind of a circular motion here. It doesn't need to look super precise in any way. Okay, really, really well done. Beautiful. You might come across places of stretch. Notice if there's achiness or tightness here this morning. See if we can use the breath just to encourage that little bit of softness. Lovely. Going for one more inhale. One more exhale. Really well done. And then coming back to standing up nice and tall, you're going to let the hands slide down the arms a little bit just so that they come to opposite elbows. And then from here, you're going to see if you can take the forearms up and above the crown head. You might need to separate the hands a little bit more here. So if you find that it feels more comfortable to take hold of opposite wrists, you're more than welcome to be here instead. OK, so taking hold of whatever feels comfortable. And again, we're going to really think about rooting the feet into the earth, crown head reaching high to the sky. Take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to take a little lean to the right. Beautiful. Well done. And by the way, this video might not be mirrored. So if it looks like I'm doing the opposite to you, don't worry. I'm leaning to the right as well. Well done. So you're going to hopefully feel this big, beautiful stretch down through the left side body here. Let's go for one more breath. One more exhale. As we inhale, we're going to steadily rise up through the center. Exhale, take it to the other side. So you're going to lean to the left. Really well done. Beautiful. And as you breathe here, can you really breathe into the right side of the waist? So feel that expansion there. Almost that like you can separate every bone of your rib cage that little bit more. Super. And then as we inhale, let's again come back up to the sky. Really well done. You can let go of opposite elbows or opposite wrists. Take the fingertips all the way up. And as we exhale, a nice big circle of the arms all the way down. <sighs> really well done. And maybe we just kind of release the shoulders, shake it off a little bit. Okay. Then we're going to do the exact same, just going the other way. So when you're ready, big sweep of the arms up to the sky, grow taller and taller. Exhale, finding that cactus shape. Beautiful. Lift up through the heart space, squeeze the elbows together back behind you. 
Inhale as you slowly extend the arms out to the side. Exhale as they come out in front and this time it's left arm on top of the right. And again, see if you can give yourselves this nice warm hug. Beautiful. And when you're ready, just have that good old wriggle. It's almost like you can take yourself into kind of a little slow dance. <laughs> Beautiful, well done. And yeah, maybe you come across places of stretch. So if you find a juicy stretch for you, do feel free to pause, sink into it for a moment. Keep that breath going, big inhales. Big exhales. Really well done as we inhale. Let's again softly come all the way back up. You're going to slide the hands down the arms a little bit. See if you can take hold of opposite elbows. Having the other forearm on top might feel a little bit more comfortable. So one side might feel a little bit strange. Just go with it. And again, as we inhale, we're going to see if we can lift the forearms so they come above the head here. Beautiful. And keeping the heart open as best as you can. If you find that you end up being a little bit rounded through the back, no worries. You might have the forearm slightly further forward, but keep that length through the spine. So even if you're a little bit more here, just go with it. See how it goes. Okay. And then from here, take a deep breath in. As we exhale, again, we're going to lean to the right and we're going to do something a little bit different here. And the breath is going to be a real indicator as to how this feels. So no matter where you are, as long as you can take that soft, steady breath in and the breath out, then the body feels okay. If that inhale ever becomes like this short, sharp inhale, like that probably means we've gone too far, okay? So as you lean to the right, maybe you start to push your hips to the left really well done again can you check in with the breath slow steady breath in slow steady breath out really well done let's take it back to the sky beautiful exhale leaning to the left see how this feels first of all and then maybe hips go to the right again can you take that deep breath in deep breath out Super, you've got it. Inhale, steadily rise all the way back up. Let's again let go of the elbows, the wrist, take the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, steady circle of the arms all the way down. Beautiful, again, shake off the shoulders, let it go, have a little wriggle, have a little jig maybe. <laughs> and then when we're ready, let's again take the arms to the sky. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see. Big sweep of the arms up, growing taller and taller. And this time as we exhale, we're going to take a nice big swan dive down towards the mat. So you're going to open the arms, hinge at the hips, dive it down to the earth. Really well done. And maybe you just slowly let the arms kind of dangle in this forward fold. So maybe you kind of shake the arms, shake off the wrists. Maybe you shake the head, nod the head. Or you might have this little sway from side to side. And you might even take hold of opposite elbows again here. See if you can use <clears throat> kind of the weightiness of your arms to help you dive further into the fold maybe. And this is hopefully that big release for the lower spine. And do feel free to keep as much of a bend through the knees here. Again, these are our, these are our first few movements of our practice. So nothing has to be too intense here straight away. One more breath. One more exhale. Really, really well done. From here, let's have a little bend through the knees. Maybe just so that the fingertips can meet the mat. We're going to take a nice big step back with the right leg. So you're going to launch your right leg to the back and then carefully lower right knee all the way down to the ground. You can untuck those right toes. Maybe right hand comes flat down to the earth. Maybe left hand comes to that top of the left eye or the left knee. Seeing if we can encourage knee over ankle just so we're stacking the bones. Let's start to find a little twist here. So you're going to push that left hand into the left knee. Spiral the heart down to the left hand side. Beautiful. If it feels comfortable for the hips, you might even let the hips sink a little bit down towards the mat. Listen to your body. Again, we're all going to wake up differently this morning. So just see how this feels for you. Okay. Take another deep breath in. And another deep breath out. Now, what you might do if this feels okay for you, you can keep that left hand down. Or you might start to roll that left shoulder back a little bit more. You might extend left fingertips up to the sky. And then can you turn your head? Maybe you can bring your left thumb in line with your nose almost. Super. Make sure that feels okay for the neck. Maybe scale it back if needed. We're just going to go for one more deep breath in. One more deep breath out. Super, looking all the way back down to the ground. Let's softly dive this left hand back down towards the mat, or maybe it comes to this left knee, first of all. 
And then from here, you're going to start to roll the right shoulder back. We're going to steadily rise up. So you're going to reach your right arm to the back of the room or back behind you. Left arm reaching forward. So we gradually rise up into kind of this mini warrior two here. Take it steady as you sweep or kind of pivot on that right knee to sweep your right ankle over to the left. So that's going to make this a little bit more sturdy for you. And you're more than welcome to bring the hands down and kind of reset that knee if needed. Beautiful. From here, slowly let this right hand reach to the ground back behind you. So towards the back of the mat. Really well done. You're then going to lengthen your left leg to the top of the mat. And it's a big sweep of this left arm up and over. Beautiful. So it's almost like a modified wild thing here. So you might even start to roll your left shoulder back as if you can spiral the heart up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Lovely. Let's inhale. Take the left fingertips all the way back up. Imagine something's pulling you by your left hand here. So you're going to slowly start to rise, come back up through that mini warrior two. So you bend back into that left knee as you go. And then you're going to simply cartwheel the arms down. So left hand lands, followed by the right. Again, gently pivot on that right knee. So you're going to swing that right ankle straight back behind you now. Tucking the toes under and then from here, maybe slide that left knee back or left foot back next to right first of all. Coming through a tabletop, we're going to tuck the toes under, deep breath in. Exhale, hips back towards the heels and see if we can rise up. Downward facing dog, really well done. Now bear in mind, down dog might be a little bit intense for us first thing this morning. So if you're happy here, do feel free to stay and you can have this little move and groove, this pedal out through the feet. If you want to take less of a weight bearing option on the hands, you are more than welcome to come to a wall or maybe kind of a slower, lower surface rather, and take a slightly higher downward facing dog, something like this maybe. And again, you can still have a little wriggle here. So whether you're here or whether you're down on the ground, choose the option that serves you most, okay? Beautiful. Taking one more deep breath in. One more deep breath out. And then let's just have a little bend through the knees. We're going to lift the gaze to look forward. Slowly walking the feet towards the hands. If you're using a wall, we're just going to meet in a standing forward fold. So we're all going to arrive with feet underneath hips. And just hang out here. So release them through the back of the neck. Head hangs heavy. Arms hang heavy. Super big breath in. Big breath out. As we inhale, we're going to bend through the knees. We're going to take this slow, steady roll up through the spine and take as long as you need with this. It doesn't need to be a race to get to the top. Slowly stacking up bone by bone. Let the head be the final thing to lift. Maybe we take a nice big shoulder roll. And an exhale. Beautiful. Let's go on the second side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. As we exhale, we're going to take a nice big swan dive. So again, we open up the arms, hinging at the hips, dive it back down towards the earth. Really well done. Okay. Take an inhale here. Take an exhale. And then a little bend through the knees. Again, maybe the fingertips land to the earth here. Let's see if this time we can launch that left leg to the back of the mat. And again, carefully lower, left knee all the way down. Okay. Beautiful. So left hand is going to stay flat down to the earth. You could use a block underneath you or a box or something just to give you a little bit more height, maybe. Right hand underneath that right knee. And we're going to start to roll that right shoulder back, spiraling the heart space to the right hand side. So again, we find this twist here. Really well done. Maybe the hips start to sink forwards and down to the earth. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Super. You could stay here if you wanted to, or maybe you start to take right fingertips up to the sky. Maybe that's where we want to go. Really well done. See how it feels. Take a breath. Take an exhale. And again, let's slowly start to dive this right hand down. So maybe that right hand comes back down to that right knee. Really well done. Before we go anywhere, you're going to slowly pivot on that left knee to swing your left ankle over to the right. So again, it's going to make this a little bit more sturdy for you. When you're ready, rise up. So you're going to lift the chest and you're going to reach your left hand to the back, right arm reaching forward. So again, it's like this mini warrior two. You might even feel a little stretch through the inner right thigh here. Super. Take a breath. 
And then as we exhale, we slowly lower this left hand down to the back of the mat. And again, you can reset this left knee if needed. Start to extend the right leg to the top of the mat. And it's a big sweep of this right arm up and over. Beautiful. You should hopefully feel this real juicy stretch down through the right side body here. And then maybe roll that right shoulder back. You might even look up to the sky underneath that right arm. Really well done. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Super, as we inhale, we're gonna reach that right arm back up to the sky. Imagine something's pulling you by your right fingertips. You're gonna softly rise on up, take your time, bending back into that right knee as you go. So you come back through this mini warrior two and then cut with the arms down. So right hand lands, followed by the left. Swing that left ankle straight back behind you. And when we're ready, let's again, simply slide that right foot all the way back, next to left, back into our tabletop, tucking the toes under, you know where we're going, take a breath, exhale, hips back and up, to the sky, down with face and dog, that wall option is still very much valid here, so if that's where you want to be, feel free to take that option instead, okay, have that little wriggle, really well done, take a steady breath in, take a steady breath out, super let's bend through the knees lift the gaze to look forward and we're steadily going to walk the feet again all the way towards the hands slow steady wins the race super well done okay back into that forward forward hang out heavy full breath in full breath out and then let's bend through the knees. Let's take that steady roll up through the spinal we You're going to come all the way back up to standing. Again, fingertips drag up the length of the legs. Head is the final thing to lift. Take that nice big shoulder roll as you get to the top. And then exhale. Beautiful. Now as we come back here, let's just take a moment, shall we? So again, coming back to a very similar place to how we started, but maybe the body feels that little bit more different here. So spread on the toes, into the earth, lengthen the arms down by your sides, shoulders back and down, chin is roughly parallel to the earth. And maybe we again close the eyes for a moment. Notice how it feels to breathe here. Can we take that slightly deeper breath in? And maybe it's a big old sigh. Okay. And just to seal off our practice here and kind of take us into our day, let's seal our practice with a final little blessing. May the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon softly restore you at night. May the rain wash away your worries. And may the breeze blow new strength throughout your being. And may you walk through the world knowing its beauty all the days of your life. May we gently bring the palms of the hands together in front of the heart space. And let's just take a little bow, shall we? Super. Okay, and when you're ready, you can softly rise all the way up, flutter the eyes open back into your little yoga space today. And again, just maybe have a little wriggle, see how the body feels now. Hopefully we're moving and grooving. Well done. And thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you loved our morning practice and I hopefully see you next time with the next practice, whatever it may be. All right, I'll see you then. Mwah. Bye. Hey Yogi, thank you so much for practicing with me. I really hope you enjoyed your practice. Just thought I'd sneak in at the end here and say if you are wanting to practice a little bit more, if you perhaps want to dive a little bit deeper into the beautiful world of yoga, then the great news is, is that I'm offering one-to-ones online. So you can join me from the comfort of your home, me from mine, and we can get together either live online or I'll pre-record some classes just for you. And the beauty of those practices is that they are tailored to what you desire. So if you're just wanting to learn a little bit more about yoga, if you're a beginner and you're not quite sure what's what and you want to get a deeper understanding of anatomy or how the body kind of moves around on the mat, or maybe you're just wanting to try slightly different practices. If you're wanting to try yin yoga, for example, or maybe we're kind of building up the confidence to maybe return to the studio in person and we're not quite got that confidence just yet. 
So if any of those speak to you, or maybe it's something else entirely, do feel free to reach out to me. You can either check me out on Instagram, send me a message over there, or just send me an email. And I would love to practice with you. Whatever it is, I'd love to tailor the practice to suit you, suit your individual needs, and we can go on this little journey together. So as I say, all the details are below if you want to have a chat, and I hope to hear from you very soon. All right, lots of love. Mwah.